Hey, good morning friends. This is Abhishek from TechVirus and in this video, I'll be telling you how you can install multiple operating system over Windows 8.1, 8 or 7. Process will remain same. What you need to do, you need to download one free software from internet that's called VMware Player. So once you search VMware Player in Google, the first link will take you to the download location. Just click on this and this will load all the softwares provided by VMware and you need to search for VMware player so where do you find this you have to go down and desktop and in user computing you will find VMware player so just click on download product and this will take you to the another page where you need to select if you want to download it for Windows or Linux Just select download for Windows once you click on this this will start downloading 75 MB exe file so I've already downloaded this and you can see on my desktop that's VMware player version 7.0.0 so how do you install this just double click on this and click yes and just click on next you don't have to do any changes make sure you click on check for product updates on startup click on next next okay so this will take some time like uh, four to five minutes to install it's very light software it won't take much of your system resources so that this this is a very great tool from VMware so meanwhile I'll show you that I'm working on Windows 8.1 so this is Windows 8.1 and if I'll show you the properties it's Windows 8.1 Pro and I have 8 GB of RAM and I have i7 4790k processor okay so this is the uh, information for the base system where I'll be installing the virtual systems okay okay now you can see the setup has been completed I'll click finish okay you can see the VMware player has been installed just double click on the icon and you will see this first page this is the home page of this application and here you have multiple options like creating virtual machine opening a virtual machine so I'll go and select the first one create new virtual machine there are two options like first using the CD-ROM or DVD-ROM and second one is the using the ISO image so uh, if you have a DVD drive or DVD ROM for uh, your Windows or any other operating system just select this and uh, click on next uh, in my case I have the images I have multiple images for different operating system I have Kali Linux Windows 7 and Windows XP so in this demo I'll be showing for Windows 7 I'll select this ISO image and click open and I'll click next and I don't have to use the product key as I'll be using it while installing the OS click next click yes and you can give any name to this virtual machine I'll leave it as Windows 7 and this is the path where all the images or the files or the hard drive allocation will be done so I have to select the path where I have that much of a space so I'll use X drive and I'll click make new folder and I'll type in win 7 VM and click enter and then I'll click next and then here you have option like how much disk space you want to give to this particular VM so I'll use the minimum like 12 GB and then click next and here you will see these are the hardware specification you want to give it to your virtual machine so if you want to increase the RAM hard drive or networking option you have to click on customize settings inside customize settings you have RAM for it's by default it's giving 1 GB but I have 8 GB of RAM then I can increase it up to like 2.5 or 2.8 anything so if you have less RAM then decrease it to 2 GB or 1 GB if you have more than 8 GB RAM then you can give it up to 4 or 8 GB whatever you wish now the second one is processor the processor uh, you can select the number of cores to be used with this operating system I have so 6 cores so I can use 2 cores to this operating system and virtualization engines should be kept as automatic and make sure that Intel VT or AMD V is enabled under BIOS click on close click on finish and this will create a virtual disk and this disk is actually a file which will be stored on your system and all the operating system all the files configuration things will be stored as a single file so whenever you want to delete the virtual machine you just have to delete one file it's very simple and clean installation 
so this will take few minutes I'll pause the video and I'll come back again now you can see uh, the creation of disk is about to finish once it finishes it will okay this will give you option like what all hardware is detected click on OK and you can see a Windows installation is beginning inside this small window this is actual virtual machine window and here you can see the same kind of setup is getting started how you s install on a standalone system and sometimes you will get option to install the update so always click yes okay I have to select which version of Windows I need to install so what I'll do I'll select Windows 7 ultimate it's activated click on next and this will copy the Windows file and then expand and all those process will happen as it happens on a standalone system this will take a couple of minutes like 20-30 uh, minutes maybe I'm not sure how much time it will take I'll pause the video and I'll come back once this is completed okay now you can see the last step of installation is going on that's completing installation it has taken approximately 20 minutes for my system it, uh, the speed may vary system to system so you should be a bit patient while it's getting installed okay now you can see uh, that last process is done and setup will continue after restarting your computer so this system will reboot itself not the base system the virtual machine will reboot and you can see that starting windows the windows logo has come up so setup is preparing your computer for first use so it will take few more minutes I'll pause the video and come back once it is inside the windows okay now you can see that Windows 7 ultimate has been installed and it's asking for the computer name I'll write my name and I'll click on next and use recommended settings I'll select home network so this will also create automatic networking like this will create a virtual networking between your base system and the virtual system and it will also configure the internet so everything will be done automatically you don't have to configure manually anything so VMware has done a fantastic job by creating VMware player it does most of the things automatically here you can select the uh, logo of your company anything whatever you want okay now you can see again Windows is restarting I hope this would be the final restart and we will be into the Windows desktop this time alright now you can see uh, the Windows has Windows 7 has started and it will do some installation this is like the update what we uh, installed for the VMware this will in Prove the graphical interface because as of now you can see if I'm doing the full screen mode it's not going into the full screen mode it's like small window so once this installation is completed and system will restart this VM will restart then you will be able to make this screen as a full screen okay, you can see that VMware tool is getting installed okay now it's just shutting down and uh, it will restart and now you can after restarting you can put this windows in a full screen mode okay now you can see windows has been started and this looks very good the graphics are improved now and I think we can go into full screen mode yes now if I expand it it goes into full screen mode now you can see we are into windows 7 I click on this computer and it just work as if you are working inside a standalone windows everything will be same there will be no difference you can see internet is also connected I'll try to open the browser and I'll try to browse something okay, and let's see if it moves yeah this is working so uh, there is no problem in uh, installing Windows 7 at all and it's very easy anybody can try on this just you have to press this button to come out of this window then you can move it small 
and you can run multiple windows like windows 7 8 so this is how you install windows 7 on windows 8 now how to turn it off just click on player power and then shut down so this will shut down the windows 7 guest operating system okay now uh, you see in the VMware player there will be one new entry it says Windows 7 and the same way you can add new operating system for example I'll show you how to install Linux on this system just click on create new virtual machine again select installer disk image ISO file browse go to OS and I'll select Kali Linux open next it's Debian 7 no I'll put in Kali and I'll select the location the same way I have selected for Windows 7 I click new folder Linux VM click next and I'll give 10 GB to this make a single disk click next customized hardware I'll give it 2 GB to processors go two cores select automatic close finish now when, once you finish this will restart the in Linux mode download and install yes this will again install the uh, VMware tool which will improve the performance just move, you can move this aside and here you can see which uh, installation you want live these are the live CDs like every time you have to put in USB or DVD ROM but I'll select install and click enter and select English United States American English and this will extract all the files into the VMware file what we have selected here is configuring the IPv6 like it's configuring the connection it's connected now please enter the host name for this system host name Kali I'll put in the host name as Abby click continue domain name as ABC click continue root password I'll enter as my favorite password continue verify select your town time zone let me select the eastern time zone I can anyways change it from inside so it's okay partition method guided use entire disk yeah the first one I'll use because I'll be giving all uh, 10 GB to this particular OS and click enter this will make SCCI Y3 10.7 GB all files in one partition okay finish right to disk click yes right to disk yes now it will install the system on the right hand side you can see the uh, update for VMware Linux was just completed and that particular update will be installed once the system boots up completely now it will, this will take some time to install the Linux version so I'll pause the video and I'll come back again alright now you can see that the uh, system has restarted and Kali Linux has been installed I have to select this particular thing I'll put in the username as root I'll login and the password I've given my favorite password okay click login now you see Kali Linux is getting started okay so if I'll try to put it into the full screen mode it will not go because VMware tool is not installed till now so I'll try clicking on player manage install VMware tool and now you see you I need to install this dot tar dot gz file here you have to download few more application so you can search on net how to install this VMware tool so here uh, I have shown how you can install the Kali Linux 
and Windows 7 on a op single operating system so you can see the Linux is running here I can show you okay you can see all the things whatever is there in the Linux and again I can run Windows 7 as well I'll play and you can see Windows is also getting booted up so you can see there are two operating system basically three operating system running at the same time the base operating system that's Windows 8 the first guest OS is Windows 7 and the second one is Linux that's Kali Linux okay there are updates coming up in this Linux so I'll quit I won't update it now so now you can see there are two operating system at the same time this is Windows 7 and Linux so guys this is how you install multiple operating system on single machine so guys I hope you liked my video please do subscribe my channel and have a nice day bye bye